What's up everybody, this is Michael McFarland, writer, rocker, biker, geek, and I'm here to talk a little bit about why I consider myself to be a geek, what that word means to me, and why I'm proud to put that on everything I do. I bring this up because there have been a few times while I was out on the last tour, people would look at my poster that has that little tagline, writer, rocker, biker, geek, and they'd be like, oh, you're not a geek. I'd be like, yes, I am. And I know I'm not the first person to say this, but to me, being a geek refers to the intersection of passion, intelligence, and being just that much off the beaten path that what you like isn't considered cool by the mainstream. It's why my motorcycle is a 1974 Swiss military bike. It's why my car is shaped like a toaster. It's why my shoes have toes on them. When I call myself a geek, I say it proudly. A few reasons why I consider myself to be a geek. One. When I was about 10 years old, I would sneak down from my bedroom in the middle of the night to watch rerun episodes of Star Trek The Next Generation. Two, I have been to a comic book convention as a staff member on a booth for a collectible card game. Three, when I was 17 and still a senior in high school, I thought that I was awesome because I was hanging out with college students that were making foam weapons, it was called Dagger Gear, and they would beat each other up with it. I thought that was badass, and I was right. Four, I am a tech geek. I nerd out about new technology. I know what the word haptic means. I am an early adopter when it is possible. Five, when I was in college, I wrote a term paper called The Philosophical Implications of Quantum Mechanics because I thought it was interesting. I was a graphic design student. Six, I have been to more than one cyclotron facility in the US and I know what they do. Seven, I just counted to seven in binary on my hands.